yes youtube revolutionary army how you are doing i hope all is good and well um thanks for clicking on this video as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail it's a little bit of a different one um i didn't really want to do another day in the life um you guys see that a lot obviously i run my up and coming sneaker business so i thought hmm i sell shoes i have shoes so why not show you guys my sneaker collection so far may i add so far because there are pairs that's due to be you know being added to this collection um but yeah this is all the pairs i've got for personal so far um quite a few of them i've never worn or worn probably a handful of times um i don't really go out a lot so i just wear beaters so what, what i mean by beaters beaters is just your everyday shoes shoes that you just run your errands in go to work in go to the gym in you know shoes for you know just your average users so these are not my beaters i've got a couple you know pairs my everyday shoes but obviously i'm not including them in the list because you don't want to see them i don't want to see them well yeah you know what i mean but um yeah so i'm going to show you guys my sneaker collection let me know what you think in the comments also comment what's the best trainer in your collection i want to know is it a jordan is it a yeezy is it a new balance what what's the best shoe in your collection um so without further ado let's begin the video now the first pair we have is as you can see the box is dusty it's a, a new balance a new balance pair um i believe it's the new balance 580s black and white usa colorway so as you can see here these are size 7.5 um yeah they're not too bad i always you know i've been seeing people rock um new balances quite frequently over the last few years and i never had a pair uh, this is my first pair of new balances as well um yeah as you can see the 580s but yeah it's it's, it's not a bad pair at all um i like them i don't want to say they're my everyday shoes because i don't really wear them a lot but if I'm traveling somewhere, these are probably my go-tos. They're very comfortable. Um, I do want to get 200, the 2002 R's, um, New Balances, quite a lot of colorways in them, 550s as well. So yeah, that's the New Balance. That's the first pair of the collection. You guys let me know if you rate them or not. Um, but on to the next pair. Okay, yes, yeah, so you guys, the next pair we have on the list is the Jordan 5 Green Beans. Okay, yes people, with the Jordan 5 Green Beans, uh, the first Jordan on the list, these come up so, not so big, but quite big. Now, in the shoes, I'm a anywhere from a 7 to an eight in shoes right mainly a seven seven point five these are size seven they're the first jordan fives i've ever owned owned and they're big for me so that's why there's a bit of crease in there and everything so i'm like in jordan five do i need to go to 6.5 potentially but anyways in terms of the black the brown little splashes long story short spill hot chocolate on myself yeah spilled hot chocolate on myself it went on the like my bottom half of my body and it got on the shoes so yeah big l but um i might have to try and get these clean because these aren't too bad these dropped in 2021 2021 these released um well they originally released in 2006 dropped again in 2021 and yeah i copped a pair of personal and i also sold a pair this is before revolutions was a thing um 
But yeah, that is the first Jordan on the list. Rate these um, in the comments. Would you cop a pair or not? On to the next one. Okay, now the next shoe on the list is none other than a Yeezy, ladies and gentlemen. Also, disclaimer, these are the first Yeezys I've ever bought. Um, it's the 700 Statics. Okay, yes, the 700 Statics, ladies and gentlemen, as Sorry, the lid just fell. Um, as you can see, these are brand new. Um, never been worn before. Um, caught them a few months ago when Yeezys was re-releasing. Re and I said to myself, yeah, I needed to cop these. Um, I needed to cop these. Such a, honestly, I'm not just saying them because I have them, but I said this before I had them. I think these are the best 700 colorway. I think the Vantas are up there. Um, the Hospital Blues, they're up there, but these are just, oh. they got that brand new smell as well. Just smell, smell it, smell it, smell it. Can you smell it? You can smell it, right? It smells beautiful. Oh man, um, but yeah, these are brand new, never worn. Uh, I'm going on holiday in May actually, so these might have to get a little run out of. You can pretty much wear these with anything, man. A tracksuit. No, not anything. I lied. Uh, tracksuit shorts. That is it. I don't want to see you in these with jeans. I don't want to see you with these in cargoes. You're not allowed. Shorts, tracksuits only. But still a fantastic shoe. Um, yeah, these 700 statics, let me know in the comments, would you guys cop a pair of these or not? Um, and yeah, on to the next shoe in the collection. Okay, the next shoe on the list is another Yeezy. Yeezy Boost 350s, the MX. Cinder colorway. What's the Forgot what they were called. The Yeezy 350s MX Dark Salt colorway. a clean clean shoe um again you might think i'm biased but i honestly believe that these are one of the best 350 colorways um dropped back in i want to say august september when the yeezys re-released um again um in 2023 brand new colorway so these have never it's not a restock the, the 700 statics was actually a restock, but these are absolutely brand new, never been released before. Um, and for that reason, I don't think you'll see quite a lot of people with them. Not because they're expensive or anything, um, but because Yeezys aren't that popular anymore. And on top of that, they released, well, not as popular as they when they first came out, no way. Um, and they also released a brand new colorway so on top of that, you're not gonna find too much people with these. So again, these are brand new, um, haven't been worn. So I'm probably gonna bring these on holiday as well. Such a fire shoe. All right, if you guys don't like these, you're bugging. I'm telling you that from now, you're bugging. You're bugging out. These are absolutely fire, don't care. Pretty much a 10 out of 10 shoe. Um, but let me guys, let up, let let me know your thoughts of these in the comments all right next pair next pair next pair let's go guys let's keep the ball rolling okay now the next shoe on the list 
is the Jordan 1 High Stage Cases. Stage hazes, aka um, the bleach coral, like another name for them. These released again in 2020. Have I been saying 2022? These released 2022. Um, great Jordan 1, man. Great Jordan 1. My first ever pair of Jordan 1 highs, actually. Um, I had mids a few years ago, but. Um, yeah, I'm selling them off. No, pretty much. No star loss. Um, great shoe. They also come with pink laces, which I'm yet to use. Um, and white laces. So, yeah, a little bit of customization there. I might rock the pink laces um, next time I wear them. But I just need to think of a fit that I could uh, kind of rock them with. But, yeah, these are fire, man. These are fire. you got the pink um insole as well i don't know if you can see but um yeah the pink insole well these are a decent amount of times not too many times they still look they're in fantastic condition um but yeah these are fire really really like these uh feel a little bit big though these are size what size are these these are size eight so i think i need to go next time i buy jordan one highs i might need to cop a 7.5 potentially uh because i feel like i've got it's a tiny bit too much room in these um but they still fit still nice pair of shoes um and yeah you can jordan ones you can rock them with anything pretty much so let me guys have i said let me get that's the second time i said let me guys let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below would you cop them would you drop them um rate my 10 by the boom, by the bear. Uh, we've got the Nike and Cortez Air Max 95 collaboration. La Blue colorway. Here we have the Air Max 95 Cortez Night Cab collaboration. These are so, so, so fire. I don't care what anyone says. No one can convince me otherwise. These here, bro, fire, man. I'd say one of the best in my collection. It's top two, but it's not number one. Number one is coming. Um, but yeah, these are fire. Very clean. Uh, released in 2023 um i think there's actually another colorway coming out but they don't really look appealing to me i believe non-biased trying to be non-biased but i believe these are the best colorways out of the nike um the cortez um 95s i'll throw up all the other colorways up here and the potential upcoming one um but yeah these are fire size seven and a half i bought these for damn i really should have put a price on how much i bought all those, those shoes for you know oh well bought these for around 280 $2 so just over retail it was resale um i bought these for because i didn't land on the honestly when these dropped on the cortez website if you think sneakers is bad yeah man but it was probably because you know they weren't they won a lot of these so it just went like that so yeah couldn't grab a pair so had to buy it for resale um but i'm happy i've worn these once one time as you can tell they're basically brand new bro. very brand new um but yeah cop these fire shoe i, I can wear these with shorts tracksuit not with jeans though well i, I wouldn't maybe maybe cargoes but i would wear them with cargoes personally i have a tracksuit 
shorts type vibe and then yeah you're chilling um all right last but not least your last shoe the thanos level threat in the collection are the jordan for black cats in general Jordan 4 Black Cat man, live in the flesh. These are one of the best Jordan 4s. Um, if you know about your shoes, then I think you will agree. One of the best Jordan 4s out there. Um, fun story about how I got these actually. One of my friends had these, so I bought them off him um, because he never used to wear them. He'd rarely, rarely wear them. I was like to him, bro, like, do you understand the gem? that you have in your hand, in your in, in your possession right now. I don't think he understood. Um, so, told him, listen, I'll buy them off you. Just bless me with a price. Obviously, he's my boy, so he wasn't going to charge me £500. So, I actually got these for £230, ladies and gentlemen, um, around them them prices, 220 230 £240, something like that. Um, beautiful shoe. With Jordan 4s, you can wear them with anything. So these Jordan 1s and Air Forces are probably the only shoes that I can think of that you can wear absolutely anything. Jeans, cargoes, shorts, tracksuits, it doesn't matter. You can wear these with anything uh, along with the ones and the Air Forces. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant pair of shoes. Um, I might throw up how much they cost here um, in terms of they're the most in terms of value, the most expensive shoe in my collection. Um, but I want to get the Pine and Greens as well. They're on my list for my holiday, so I do want to get my hands on them. Um, and yeah, that is all for the sneakers on my list. Let me guys, I always say let me guys, let me know um, if you guys would cop a pair of Jordan 4 Black Cats and rate them out of 10 um but with that being said that concludes today's video um it was a bit of a different one i hope you guys enjoyed uh just thought I might as well show you guys my collection um type thing and yeah that will conclude the video like subscribe comment and don't forget to revolutionize your style i'll catch you guys in the next one peace